You need to hear this if you're a paranormal enthusiast. Ready to dive into the unknown? Join the Tristan channel as we journey through spine-tingling paranormal encounters, unexplained supernatural phenomena, and perhaps some eye-popping UFO sightings. Our world is full of mysteries, and together we'll explore the eerie, the bizarre, and the downright unexplainable. From haunted houses to cryptic creatures, we'll react to the most chilling and baffling compilations. So if you're ready to test your courage and expand your mind, hit that subscribe button and let's unravel the unknown together. Welcome to the adventure. Welcome to the Tristan channel. Hello and welcome to the Tristan channel. And I hope you're having a great, happy Halloween. I'll be celebrating Halloween on the, well, technically later on tonight as this will be recorded and uploaded during the early hours gone midnight. And so, because, well, for me, it's, it carries on from the 31st onwards, or hanging over the, um, to the 1st. So, this, you could say, is a Halloween special episode. And for the Halloween special, we are going to visit Depths of Despair. And this is 10 scary videos that will leave you with sincere regret. So, as always, the link to the, the channels are active is in the description below. So without further ado, let's check this out, shall we? And with that, this is 2024's Halloween special. The hospital room. A mother named Sandy was staying with her daughter in Phoenix Children's Hospital in oh, I I see, we've seen this one, water. Arizona when her daughter suddenly started communicating with something in the room. Okay, go. <laughs> Who is it? It's so weird. Is it you? Is it me? It's not me. It's a motion sensor. There's no one over there. Okay, do it one more time. Do it one more time, please. <laughs> okay. One last time. You, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, do it if you're a guy. Turn it on if you're a guy. No. So, you're a girl? And just for show, let's see if it comes on right here. I'm right here. Okay. Nothing. Does your name start with an A? Does your name start with a B? I want to do the question asking. Okay. No. Nope. Your name starts with a B? Is it... Brianna? Brittany. <laughs> Is your name Brittany? Is it Bianca? That's a weird name. I don't know. It's what came... came to mind? Yeah. Bianca? <laughs> Are you fine? It's funny, I've seen this before, but it's freaky every time I watch it. Are you six, seven, eight, nine? <laughs> You're nine? You're nine years old? This entity claiming to be a nine-year-old girl named Bianca communicates with her daughter by turning the tap on to answer questions. Everything seemed like a wholesome moment. But all of a sudden, the room goes cold and the spirit stops responding. So she's nine. You're nine, correct? Are you still here? 
Did you leave us? She then decides to FaceTime her dad to tell her about what happened. And as she prepares to go home, she asks one final question, if it will come with her. Then this happens. Are you going to come with me? Are you going to be with me? <laughs> Suddenly, the spirit replies to her last question after not responding, letting her know that it will come with her and be with her. Then the tap quickly stops, and we see a shadow moving towards her daughter. Her father on the video call said he could hear static on the phone. What's that noise? What noise, baby? No, it sounds like static, like on the phone. Does it? Can you do a screen recording? Yeah, I don't know why it sounds like that. It sounds like static on the phone. After this, a man in the comments reached out saying his niece matched those details and passed away in this very same hospital mm. and all her organs were donated could it be that Bianca ended up becoming an evil spirit or something pretended to be her and has now attached itself to the girl let me know bedtime this video was taken by a sec <clears throat> I'm sorry but why would it why would she why do we assume? Why would she become an evil spirit? She could be just stuck there. I mean, or visitor there. Security camera placed the inside death, this girl's bedroom to monitor her. It is around 11 p.m. and well past her bedtime. Yet she decides to play with some toys while in bed. When something utterly terrifying happens. Oh. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. Uh, sure. Play God. Must have a baby monitor because my question would be is sorry my only thing I can think of is they must have a baby monitor because um um my question would be is how would she know she assume that she's straight that she's underneath the bed you know what I mean because you got door open there she could have been in the other part of the room you know what I mean. What the fuck is that? Look at is that a toy? See what that shadow is that oh my god I'm getting fucking chicken, look at that. Let me see it. It looks like a doll. If it is a doll, it's a freaky doll. But where the depths of the spare logo is, can you see it? The long hair, the eyes. It looks really freaky on the video. A toy lights up on its own. Even creepier, it starts to play the same song she's singing. 
as if to lure her under the bed. And when she goes to check it out, something swiftly pulls her under the bed. Her mum is convinced that something sinister lurks underneath and has since moved her daughter to another room and locked the door for safety. But viewers kept asking if she had checked under the bed herself to see what's there. That's when this happens. So I've been getting oh, a lot of freaky. questions. Um, people have been asking me, have you been in the room? Have you guys looked under the bed? The thing is, I'm starting, it's starting to ring a bell now because what got me is she sees something. Well, I'll let you watch it, but I was, yeah. No, we I'll, I'll haven't. Mm -hmm. We haven't been in the room in the last two days. We've been a little scared. Right, so <clears throat> first off, I think it's all coming back to me now because I, my problem is this, right? Now I think they say there's a doll when if there, etc. But here's the thing, that looks too flesh-like. That looks too solid. That looks too real, right? So bearing in mind also that it's a bunk bed, and far as aware, we haven't been, you know. For all we know, she could have a baby brother. Because to me, that actually looks... It doesn't look, even look like a ghost. It actually looks like there's an actual child underneath the bed. And because she knew where to find her daughter when her daughter screamed, and also, why would you be... You know, all kinds of factors. It's kind of like... I, I, I say this is... I say the kids are on this. It's a, it's a homemade video. Underneath the bed lies a creepy doll which suddenly begins moving, instantly sending chills down her spine and yes, sending the like dolls, woman but not running away. That she way. has now locked the door See, again I mean. and nobody has entered ever since. Viewers suggested that the doll was mechanical, to which she explains that it's a stuffed plastic doll. So for those of you saying that the doll is mechanical and that's how it moved, that doll is plastic, that doll is stuffed. I checked, I looked at Amazon. There is no way that thing should have moved like that. She does some research on the house and discovers this. But it's funny when she says that, she hasn't showed us the doll. Why hasn't she pulled out the doll, showed us the doll, and then showed us a page on Amazon? She's just saying to us, oh, I, sh I mean, that could be a, a son. So a lot of you guys have asked me if we've done any research on the house, and I did. Um, I found out that some of the past people that have lived here have had some ghostly encounters. Um, I learned that it was built near, not on, but near a cemetery. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're at a loss. We, we really love our home. We don't want to have to leave it. So we're trying to figure out what to do. She then gives a quick house tour. So a few of you guys have actually asked for a tour of the house. So here's the master bedroom. 
Here is the hallway. Well, where's the actual doll? She hasn't shown us the doll. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary with the house. So could it be that the haunting was caused by the location being near a cemetery? Or does the creepy moving doll have something to do with it? Or perhaps both? Regardless, this is completely terrifying. Missing student. Yeah, it's freaky, isn't it? But I reckon it's fake. That kid looked... I'm not saying that ghost can't look solid, but that looked too flesh-like, you know what I mean? And look too like you know me now and look too you know what i mean and it's a bunk bed and she didn't show us the doll nor the amazon page it's funny how she knew where to find the door since she opened the door so you know what i mean so i say it's fake her and the kids made a video you know what i mean this next video was recorded by a security camera inside a school classroom taken after school hours the teacher had stayed behind after school to finish up working with some documents before leaving. But suddenly, he starts talking to someone, or so it seems. Watch closely. noticed she walked on to the next class looking for her son while he was still talking so he got up and went to the next class to get her when suddenly he noticed there was nobody there completely freaked out by this incident he immediately grabs his belongings and goes home the teacher swears he was talking to a mother who was looking for her son to pick him up from school we can see yeah. that he gazes up towards the door to make eye contact with the woman every while. What makes this even more creepy is that many viewers say they can see the silhouette of a woman standing by the classroom door. And some yeah. viewers even pointed out that you can hear the woman's voice before the teacher speaks. This suggests that he did indeed see something at the classroom door, and after realizing that there was no one there, he left in complete terror. Without a moment's hesitation, his co-workers agreed this was paranormal. But unfortunately, the video remains a mystery. Just who or what was the teacher talking to? The parking lot. A group of friends decided to explore an abandoned parking lot full of buses that are no longer used. They stated that the buses are all inoperable and no longer functioning so they were left behind. But another reason they have come to explore this area is because it's typically known for being an extremely haunted place. In Soyapango, El Salvador. 
So I had to pause it because there's some of these clips that are looking so familiar. And I was just going into my thing and make sure, type, typing the title of this in in my uh, YouTube studio to make sure I'm reacting to this video. Because some of these I've, I've already seen. So there must be in another video or something. Many people claim to have heard buses here at night, as well as seen shadow figures and passengers on the empty vehicles. The crew's fun adventure quickly takes a creepy turn while talking to one of the local residents who lives next to the parking lot. see nothing that could explain this occurrence. Although this is what they wanted to see, they are now creeped out now that it's happened. So they decide to check out the rest of the area when suddenly they turn around and notice this. A dark shadow figure can be seen in the distance just standing there next to the bus that had the rear light on. Upon realizing this, the group felt chills run down their spine, so they decided to not stick around and just leave. They are now convinced that the rumors are true and are certain they saw a ghost that night. But as always, I'll let you judge. Really? The totem. User Angel works as a tattoo artist that lives alone somewhere in Glasgow, Scotland. And one day, she was just playing with her cat when she noticed it started behaving strangely, looking up at the glass panel of one of the doors. So she decided to record it and something undeniably chilling is captured. What? I can't see anything. Oh, God. Oh. Just outside her bedroom door, a pale man can be seen watching her from the top of the glass panel, which you would need to be quite tall for. We can see that the cat is clearly noticing this as well. Angel explains that she was terrified to leave her room for hours. But when she eventually did and searched the house, she found no one there. But after searching the property, she discovered some sort of strange formation of sticks or totem outside her house, which she believes was used for some sort of ritual leading her to think what she saw in her house was something paranormal. Now over the next few days, something started following her around. Oh. 
Oh, man. But things got even worse when she decided to try and seek out answers at a nearby graveyard and noticed shadow figures and strange sightings lurking at the corner of her eye. After returning home, she discovered two slugs inside her house and noticed that the totem had been moved closer to her front door. Whatever this thing is, just doesn't seem to want to leave her alone. She believes an entity such as a skinwalker is causing all of this. But paranormal or not, you uh. judge. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to depthsofdespairbusiness at gmail.com. Could be fake, but it's freaky, innit? it? Oh, magic hands. The next video was taken by a security camera inside a big apartment complex. The little girl lives inside the apartment complex and in the footage she can be seen playing around at the bottom of a staircase besides a door which leads into a small little basement storage room and the girl stares into the room as if something is inside. That's when her parents reviewed the footage and noticed this. First, it looked like she was going to enter the room, but then she, she stopped as she saw it. A pale looking hand can be seen manifesting out of nowhere from the corner of the door, almost as mm. if trying to lure the girl inside before dissipating. Even the cat who joins her is wary of going inside. Just what was inside the mysterious room? Another similar video comes from the urban exploring team known as Urbex Castronautica. The group decides to visit the famous La Plata Cemetery over in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Throughout the exploration, not much happens, but at one point, they manage to capture something chilling on camera. Watch closely. <laughs> As they look inside a home of one of the tombs, a creepy hand can be seen quickly retracting out of view. None of the team actually noticed this yeah. until many viewers began to point it out. They believe it was the hand of one of the spirits that resides within this tomb. Could it be the same case for the other video? Perhaps somebody lost their life inside this little room. Let me know what you think. The Passenger Mm. On September the 4th of 2023, a taxi driver is driving late at night around 3 a.m. somewhere in the Philippines, when suddenly someone waves him down for him to give them a ride. That's when he captures this. Mm. 
The door opens and then slams shut on its own, as if someone entered the car. He then proceeds to ask her where she's going, but no response is heard. Although he claims she told him she wanted to go to Scouts Barrio, a neighborhood in Baguio, Philippines. And that's when he began driving. But after checking in the mirror and seeing nothing, he notices there's nobody in the back seat and begins to panic. What makes this even stranger is that we can see on the front dash cam where he stops for the lady, and there's clearly nobody there. says that her clothes were really long and looked like that of a Jesus devotee, which adds to the eeriness of this video. Just who or what opened the car door and will it be f- mm. <coughs> It's funny because it's so late as well. <coughs> <coughs> if I look a bit tired, I'm not falling asleep. I'm just like going, I'm just a bit tired because it's late. Following him home, you tell me. Hiding. On the morning of the solar eclipse, a boy was preparing his lunch around 7 a.m. to eat later at school, while everyone else was still asleep upstairs. When the home security camera in the room captures something disturbing. <coughs> Mm. An unsettling voice can be heard saying, how did you find me, followed by a louder hey. The boy states that the voice came from somewhere around the kitchen cabinets, but knowing he was the only one present down there at the time, left him deeply afraid. Terrified, he runs straight to his mum's bedroom as she hears him screaming, and she then gives her side of the story where things get even more creepy. Okay, so yesterday, y'all know I posted a video of my son, who's 11, by the way, y'all, because I know a lot of people keep saying, like, oh, you can't be afraid, you can't feed off of it, you can't run. He's 11. He doesn't understand, he doesn't know. This is his first encounter. This is, you know, something new and fresh to him, so he really doesn't understand. Okay, so he gets up around 7 a.m. every day, and he decided to make some noodles which he told me that he was making for lunch to take to school so he was in the kitchen making some noodles he said that he heard a voice coming from the cabinets um that said to him how did you find me um when he dropped his noodles he ran upstairs came busting in my room jumping all over my bed hiding in the corner screaming and hollering saying he didn't want to die somebody was in the house somebody was in the house telling me to get my because somebody was in the house, somebody was in the house, and I'm, like, trying to tell him to calm down, be quiet, so I can hear what he's saying, like, nobody's in the house. I kept telling him, nobody's in the house, like, calm down. What is wrong? What happened? But, like, he kept yelling, and I'm, like, calm down. So then I call my dad, and I'm like, Dad, man saying somebody in the house, he won't get out of my room so that I can get them out the closet so I can figure stuff out, and he would not move. At the point, my dad was, like, talking to him, telling him to get out the room or to be quiet, and he finally did get a little bit quiet, we started hearing footsteps. I mean, big, heavy feet coming up the steps. Mm. So, like, now at this point, I'm terrified. I, I throw my robe on. I push him into the room with his brothers. I I started coming down the steps with nothing in my hands. At this point, I'm just thinking I'm going to have to knock somebody backwards up the steps and then just do what I got to do at this point because I got five kids in here. Big footsteps were heard right after the strange voice. But as she rushes downstairs, she sees nobody there. Not sure if someone was in the house or not, she's left freaked out. Her son then tells their neighbor about what had happened, and the neighbor tells him something that makes him even more frightened of the place. 
Hey y'all, part two of our ghost friend. Okay, so fast forward back to April 8th. Man Man had told my neighbor like, hey, I had a spirit talk to me this morning. She asked me, how did you find me? And she's like, oh, I know her. I know the spirit. She's a friendly spirit. Like that's my friend. She had died in a house at 70 years old from a heart attack. And I'm like, girl, what? And why would you tell him that? Because he already freaking out. And he had came and he's like, mommy, I went to school today and I searched up the house and a girl died in the house also. And I'm like, hell nah. Like, when I move, I don't look up the house history. I look up the schools, the neighborhood. That's it. I don't look at nothing else. Like, that's all I look up. It seems the previous resident, an old woman, died there recently. Ooh. And as the boy searched up the place, he discovered that a young girl also died there. His mother made the mistake of not searching up the history of the house before moving in. So something may be living with them. Her son remains terrified to be alone, asking his brother to come with him everywhere. He just just the what room. exactly was coming up the stairs that morning? Could it have been the ghost of the young girl or older woman who lost their lives? Or something else entirely? You judge. Mm. Oh, Not, alone. Not alone. We featured Leanne Rito previously, and as you know, he has been experiencing paranormal activity all over his house, especially in the bedroom bathroom. He has a security camera set up monitoring the bedroom and other rooms 24 hours a day. And one night while sleeping, he's woken up to something horrifying. Watch closely. Oh my god! Look at the doorway, look at the doorway, look at the doorway. Oh. <laughs> Getting a chicken. Look at my face. Should be fake, but this fake is definitely freaky. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, man. What the actual f, f man? Kick it down. Bish bosh bish. Won't the bitch. As he sleeps, a creepy looking figure can be seen standing in the bathroom just watching him before the door closes by itself. When he goes to check, there's no one there. Terrified, he decided to head over to his countryside house mm. for the rest of the night. The voice. The voice. A father was home alone after his daughter was attending school. Yet out of nowhere, this happens. So, 
I don't know how to explain this, but my daughter's at school, and I keep hearing something call. Did you hear that? Oh my God, Brooke, are you here? Brooklyn. Oh my God. There's literally no one here. Like. Come here, Daddy. Oh my. He hears his daughter's voice coming from the room, but when he goes inside, there's nobody there. Then he hears the voice in the room while he's there and gets creeped out. Could this be the result of a mimic? Or is it just an intricate ruse? Once again, you judge. Don't forget to check out our new channel, Stories of Despair. The links are in the description and pinned comment. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. Yeah. Well then, someone would really freak you, wouldn't they? Don't know if they were fake or legit, but they were definitely freaky. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Halloween special, and until and I hope you have a good Halloween and I hope you have lots of fun, and I shall see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.